Today on Toy Shiz, get your Sega Mega Drives all plugged in and ready to roll. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Jack Specific. And today, I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this one. This is a look at the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog 30th anniversary already. The Giant Eggman Robot Battle Set, based on the Death Egg Robot, or Mech Robot, or Mech Robotnik, whatever you want to call him. It's just a huge, hulking suit of armor for old Dr. Robotnik. And Sonic the Hedgehog, well, he's had enough. He's going to put an end to this really nice, crisp artwork all over the packaging. And on the back, you see exactly what this set is going to do. It's kind of a play set, it's kind of an action figure, and it's a little bit of a game too, if you really think about it. And I think Jack Pacific really does a great job, especially with their Mario sets, Sonic the Hedgehog sets, of incorporating a video game into a toy. And here's the barcode as well. They are starting to hit Target stores now, so keep an eye out if you're looking for one. And like I said, yeah, my history of Sonic the Hedgehog, been playing it since the original Sega Genesis days, more so on the Sega Game Gear, all six batteries every two seconds, right? But Dr. Robotnik, not Eggman, I don't call him Eggman, it's Dr. Robotnik, god dang it. <laughs> you can call him what you want, I don't care. But I'm just saying, he always had some kind of weird robot mech suit thing that's going to try and kill Sonic the Hedgehog. So to see this now, a toy that has no business existing. As the golden age of action figures continues to unfurl, we have this amazing mech suit. He even popped up in the Archie comics from time to time. And like I said, this looks awesome, and I'm hoping it's going to be every bit as awesome once I get it out of the packaging and show it off. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog 30th Anniversary, the giant Eggman robot battle set by Jack Pacific. And of course, here is Dr. Robotnik out of the packaging, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I love that face right there. But it's a giant mech suit that's shaped like Dr. Robotnik. It's amazing. And it comes with a catapult right here. It's nicely done, nicely sculpted, rivets, bolts, everything in it. And you get a little slug Sonic figure right here. He's all wound up into a ball, ready to strike Dr. Robotnik and break and do damage and do all this stuff he's a little rubbery piece but he's solid he's essentially a ball that you're gonna throw at dr robotnik and break him apart but it's a nice catapult works nicely you're gonna have to hold it with two hands it's not like secure but it's painted nicely done nicely can't complain it actually looks pretty darn good so let's load up sonic here and fire it off and this is how these things go on these types of videos they never work right off the bat but we're gonna test it out not to worry but let's look at the Robotnik robot, right off the bat, I'll tell you, it is painted beautifully. This thing is awesome. It's heavy, solid. It's got a great face. It's got little rubber eyes, antennas right there. I love the eyes, the face, the nose. It don't look like Jim Carrey, though, I will say. No. <laughs> He's got the arms. He's got the shoulder pads on him, the spiky hands, the big old clod hopper boots right there. Those things are Great. And yeah, like I said, I mean, he's essentially an action figure. He's got huge feet. Keeps him up sturdy. Very sturdy figure, I'll tell you that. Now, I do wish the articulation in the arms was a little better just to kind of hold still. I'll show you how and why that works. He's got projectiles in the arms. These little shoulder pads right here will move up so you can move the arms. However, because he pegs in and everything, you don't get any movement and security in that sense. But I love that he has projectiles right here on the side of each arm and you can fire it off and kill Sonic instantly. <laughs> Losing all the rings, right? This is actually pretty cool. On the back side, this is a peg-in piece and it's his jetpack. And it's done so friggin' cool. It's got all the rivets and the bolts. You push these little pegs down. Then he's got fire jets and everything just like in the video games when he zooms in kind of drops down right all that stuff see what i mean by the the looseness of the arms right here it's because that's gonna pop out eventually i just wish it was more secure in that sense the legs are nice again very very sturdy he's got some articulation in the knees the little caps right there will move with you but basically single jointed knees you're gonna want to just keep him flat footed though he's he's more of that type of character but i love that the head moves to and fro it's so friggin' dumb, but I love it. It's just so awesome, right? So right here is where you're gonna strike 
with this thing. I'm going to knock him into tomorrow. So here's the scenario. You're at the end of the level. Sonic is ready to go. He needs to save all those animals in the capsules. This thing drops down and he spins into a ball and you got to hit him three times every which way. But right in the middle. That'll work. So we'll get the catapult going right here. I'm going to pop Sonic right inside and totally missed. Totally missed. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do for this video. I'm going to throw this so you can see it in action. Over. There. See, I did some damage, right? There's some damage right there. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Boom. Look at that. Even in slow motion, you can see it work. Here we go. Boom. Complete catastrophic systems failure right there. He just explodes into a pile of pieces. And now you're going to run and hit the flag and spin the thing and get like a dozen coins or whatever. Sonic saves the day. That's a cool toy. It's a game. It's a playset. It's an action figure. It's all three in one and you get this cool catapult. Which, it works, but you're going to have to take your time and really do it yourself, right? <laughs> Putting old Dr. Robotnik together is really a cinch. All the legs, all the arms simply peg right back in. They're sturdy. Nothing pops out too, which is cool. Like it just kind of spring pops out for no reason. You go ahead and you reset this just by rotating it. You're going to have to put some pressure on it. It's not going to be easy peasy. I would say kids might have like a little bit of problems sometimes, but they'll get the hang of it, right? The adults can show them and you simply just push this three times and he falls apart. So just like in the video games. He really reminds me of the most recent, for me at least, he-Man, like all the battle damage stuff from the 80s and now the most recent He-Man Origins. Having that battle damage on the chest, taking it, having the different elements flipping around. If you're wondering how he scales with other figures from Jack specific, I think it goes well. It's a giant hulking robot. It just looks like it stepped right out of the video games. However, I really wish the top part opened and you could have put a Robotnik figure in there. I think that that would have been just icing on the cake. So cool if you could have done that. But I'll take this in either sense because I know he's in there, right? Mario, you wanted to do that. If you have a really cool video game room, video game setup, something like that is so well done. I love this thing. This is going right next to my Sega. If you wanted just another comparison, here's another mech suit robot I got recently during Comic-Con. Came right to my doorstep because you can't walk around the actual Comic-Con anymore. And yes, just to show you if you want to fire off the missile and shoot Sonic in the face... There you go. <laughs> this thing rocks. I love it. This is exactly what I thought it would be. A game, an action figure, a nice display piece, and a bit of a playset. To have something like this in this day and age, this is the stuff we wanted as kids. From all the cool Mario stuff that I love that Jax makes, to now all the cool Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I like classic Sonic the Hedgehog. The old school, original stuff. That's my Sonic, the one with the longer legs and everything. Yeah, but this is the type of stuff that I like. And it reminds me of the old school craziness of it. And I like the art style. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new Sonic the Hedgehog Giant Eggman robot battle set. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Sonic the Hedgehog. And thank you again to Jack Specific for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember one of the most satisfying things about those Sonic games is running through and busting all the TVs and collecting all the rings. And you get right to the end and you, you get hit by the spikes or a little robot kills you. you lose it all. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.